So, uh, what's up guys? Um, those are macadamia trees I was showing you up there. So, we have so many uh, macadamia uh, trees here in our home. And uh, there's another one here. There's a, another one right there. It's a macadamia tree. A different species. Actually, there are two different species. Uh, should I call them species? <laughs> yeah. Okay, there are two different uh, macadamia trees. Okay. Yeah, so these are fenced to home and these are cow shed right here, guys. Um, and so, welcome, guys, um, uh, to my channel. Uh, as always, my name is Felix254 and I'm coming live right uh, from my village. Uh, my village is situated in uh, Makueni County. Uh, in the hills of um, Bohoni or Bohoni Hills guys and so yeah this way I'm coming live from and, and of course guys uh, I came here uh, to celebrate uh, the Christmas uh, uh, to celebrate Christmas yeah and of course as you may be aware here in Kenya uh, today is on the 26th of uh, December right after uh, the Christmas day which is always uh, 25th and we normally celebrate here on uh, 25th and so guys uh, if you come from a place where you do coffee farming uh, you know this is coffee and these are some coffee uh, seeds right here these are coffee seeds they are still uh, growing but let me see if a big boot to see some mature ones this is where we get the coffee we get coffee from right from here yeah, you see some uh, another small macadamia uh, tree uh, still growing right there, still growing a banana and more. So it's a village, and in village there's uh, a lot of food. You can always go to the farm and get something uh, to eat. And so, uh, guys, today it kept raining from the time I, I woke up it it has been raining since uh, the time I woke up and so I've not been able even to leave home because it's been uh, really uh, raining but for now it's uh, the sun but it's only taking like uh, some maybe 30 minutes and then the uh, cloud cover happens again and then it starts raining immediately that is why I don't feel like going uh, far uh, from home so this is my second video uh, from the village uh, so uh, this is our farm just near our home uh, you can see how uh, the maze is so guys I promise you this time uh, God has seen us through all of us even in other places because I've been uh, uh, since I came I've gone to just a few places because of the rain but I've seen this abundance of uh, food. So maize this time around, we're going to harvest uh, so much uh, maize. But for the beans, I think there's a problem. At the moment it started raining heavily, uh, the maize, uh, this, uh, the beans was destroyed. And that's what I've seen in the farms and that is what I've also been uh, told. So these are things are. And there is, uh, we have a farm here just right uh, near our home. Uh, this is a farm, this is a, not a farm but uh, a forest, a forest here just uh, near our home. Uh, so we are neighboring the Bohoni uh, forest and the uh, home is just uh, uh, near, uh, actually we are bordering the forest. Part of our land, of my ancestors uh, land, my forefathers land uh, was taken uh, and uh, it became part of uh, that forest inside there okay I don't know if I, I did show you where I was shown by my, by my father uh, where my home our home uh, used to be uh, before uh, the colonial government uh, decided to take part of our 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 farm of our land to uh, come to, to, to to come up with the forest and so guys uh, uh, Kels 
is a common uh, uh, food here. Uh, is it vegetable? These are veggies. And this is Skumawiki. We call it Skumawiki right here in our village. We call it Skumawiki here in our village. It's very common in almost every home. It's very common in every almost every home guys here so i'm right inside our, our farm i'm right inside our farm and uh, you see these big trees these are the coffee uh, trees and so the last time i was here i did show you uh, uh, that the trees had some flowers and now you can see um, it's having seeds the coffee seeds this is where you get coffee from. This is where you get coffee from. Uh, from those seeds. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just right in our farm. And this is maize. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, sometimes we mix everything. Sometimes we mix everything. Yeah. Sometimes we mix everything because the farms are not that big. So, uh, sometimes it's very hard to uh, to put uh, uh, beans on one farm, uh, maize on the other. So it's very common here that we mix everything. We mix everything in our farms. I hope, guys, uh, uh, you know what I mean. And so you you come from a place where people do farming. Uh, you understand what I am saying and so we mix everything uh, as you can see uh, these are beans these are beans but uh, they are not doing well so they supposedly won't be able to get uh, beans but uh, we have another small farm somewhere where by um, I am, I am told uh, the beans are doing good whereby I am, I am told the beans are doing are doing good so uh, let me show you guys how we also get firewood here. I show you how we get firewood uh, right here um, in our you know in our village. Uh, you can see more bananas uh, still coming up, and uh, you see all this this coffee and some other trees, uh, maybe um, macadamia trees, and uh, so there are some other more fruit trees small trees inside our home and so guys uh, let me show you how we get firewood here in the village so i was just walking uh, inside uh, the forest in, inside our farm and uh, because we are neighboring the forest it's always get easy uh, to get firewood guys here so it's easy to get firewood and so i was just walking here and uh, I just got firewood. This firewood, this one can cook a whole meal. You know, you can imagine ugali. You know, ugali is uh, food from maize. You know, the crushed maize. You can even also cook githeri. You can also cook any other food. You see this? Yeah. This is how we get firewood. And uh, sometimes uh, we can also get some boys or to climb on the trees there are those boys who also uh, climb on the trees uh, you pay them something and uh, they give you uh, firewood you know it's uh, normal here in the village you know guys gas uh, we started just we just we started using gas just the other day it's not been normal in the village but uh, of course it's true that uh, nowadays you find gas in most in almost every home you know find gas in almost every home i'm walking slowly because there are thorns here you know you can as you can see this uh, the fence between our farm and the forest this fence between our home and the forest right here guys <laughs> so there are thorns and um, they just been put there they can't prevent anything anyway but they just happen put here uh, just at least to make someone uh, think or rethink if they, are, if they want to cross or not you know uh, that uh, situation 
uh, makes someone uh, maybe think of just using another way rather than passing through the farm if they are from the forest you know as you can see here this is the way the people pass here you know these are kind of a way where people pass if they are walking along inside the forest yeah and you see muli madam down there you see muli madam uh, down, down there yeah so um yeah that's it guys this is where i come from i've shown you severally i've shot a video just from here within uh, around this place and uh, um it's been raining here uh, all day long at least now i've been able to see some uh, sun because it's been uh, dark with so much cloud all over we call it mumbe here so it's been covering uh, oh this place so i've not been having that interest of uh, maybe uh, walking around uh, around to see how things are and so this is the time i've decided to just come out and see how things are yeah so this is how we get firewood here and so i've just collected it uh, just in a home but sometimes uh, there are people climb on the trees when i was growing when i was a, a young boy i'm still young anyway but when i was young when uh, we were uh, rearing cattle we would still be able to climb on the trees and get firewood yeah but again before uh, you would go to the the, the the government office in charge of the forest and they would give you um a, what should i call it a ticket or something you know you pay some money i don't know if it was allowed but you be given a receipt if you want to uh, cut a tree you identify the tree and maybe they tell you how much you're supposed to pay and you would cut it down uh, maybe for firewood or if you want to uh, have a uh, timber uh, to do some construction or something but currently it's very strict it's very strict here it's you can't find uh, such a thing happening here if uh, someone is, uh, is is found cutting a tree then you are arrested and judged before a court of law and so that's how strict it is here or if you are even if a tree falls down it's just left there to maybe decay you can imagine that guys if a tree falls down currently no one picks it until it decays i don't know why but uh, a few maybe a year or two years ago uh there was a plan i don't know by the government or an organization which had proposed to pay for the trees so that they be because these trees are very old guys yeah but i heard this was it's a luma i heard today that um, there was a plan to cut these uh, mature trees and plant other small trees you know two small ones eh? to plant new ones and cut these big ones maybe to i don't know where they were to be taken or what they were to do and i heard that was a plan yes, and so yeah to just grow another forest and uh, i think uh, there was a serious fight you know from the the, 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 the governor the uh, the senator and uh, you know i think at that time i remember kariya kotobiko coming here it was very serious and so that was stopped and so from that time nothing much happens here no cutting trees and so i'm against that idea of deforestation because uh, we found i was born and when i opened my eyes well when i was able to just understand everything i found this forest not even like this it was very dense there are so many trees there are so many uh, uh, these are these are we call it i think gruveria in our place these ones gruveria yeah but in many places uh, i don't know what people call it, what people call it but there are also cypress trees there are so many mature cypress trees but they were cut down uh, due to a high demand of uh, timber and so they were cut down because of the uh, because of high demand of uh, timber yeah because of white man of tiba so guys we just collect wood or firewood as we move around this is how we get firewood here in our village yeah so we get firewood in our village 
So I was just walking by and I found a uh, firewood guys. Yeah, this firewood. This firewood. So we have a village on the other side, right there. Uh, that village is called Moyani Village. It's called Moyani uh, Village. Yeah. There's a valley in between right here. Uh, uh, and so uh, it's the one that is dividing the villages. It's dividing our village here. And uh, that other village called Moyani. And the other villages which I've shown you uh, in, other, uh, uh, in other videos of mine. So... Uh, if I happen to get time, I still take you. There's a place down there where we used to uh, fetch water when we were very small. It's where we used to get uh, to fetch water when we were uh, growing up, when we were small. I've grown here in the village and uh, I've gone through a lot, just like any other person who grows in the village. You know, you go fetch water. You go okay. Firewood was not a problem to us because we are neighboring the village, the 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 the, the, uh, the forest. And so those days it was always easy to find so much firewood in a home. So much firewood, guys. You can imagine so much. Yeah, so much firewood in a, uh, in a home. Uh, but to the, this was uh, the closest uh, source of water in a home, just down there, down there. I don't know if you can see a stone there. There's white stuff. Oil stone there. There is a there is a water spring there, and so we get water right from there. Also, when it rains, there's so much water, and so also we bath. There's also somewhere a very good stone where we just go remove our clothes and sit properly uh, and uh, bath with a very uh, clean water, crystal clear. You imagine, you can imagine how we used to enjoy those days. If you told me guys to go bath there. It may be next to impossible eh? because uh, now uh, it's not that possible, guys. Eh? It's not that possible because we just remove our clothes. Now, not the way you see people bathing in the river, uh, you know, half naked, you know, wearing some pants, pants or maybe in some boxers. Uh, you know, we would bath naked, you nude, huh? nude, guys. You can imagine with nothing. You know, the way I was born, yeah, and we never to see it as anything. But when I was uh, like, uh, maybe up to 14 years, up to 14 years, <laughs> from maybe seven years, six years, up to uh, 14 years. You can remember those days we were also fetching water, fetching water, yeah, with a small container. Maybe I started with a small one for three liters, and then I went to the one for five liters. I went to the one for 10 liters and then also I went to the one for uh, 20 liters. I was carrying it on my head. Some of these boy, village boys and girls, we find them with some something here, a line on the head. It's uh, for the rope. Uh, it means they used to carry some stuff uh, home. Maybe uh, from maybe somewhere water, uh, those water jerrycans. <coughs> water containers or something it means they used to carry uh, something on there on their on the on, on their head uh, you know there's a way that that banana will be put on the back and then you put the rope on the head and carry it maybe i'll be demonstrating that someday uh, yeah later uh, uh, later alone uh, later guys eh? yeah and so the weather is not bad right now because I can see some kids playing. The weather is awesome now. There's a uh, man all over. There's man all over. But uh, I can see these kids playing here. They are enjoying them, themselves a lot. There's a video, guys, I filmed for you uh, while while uh, on this place here. You can go checking on in my videos. There's a video I filmed uh, from here. Uh, showing you uh, this uh, space here uh, where the kids are playing. This is where we used to play when we were small kids. This is where we used to play when we were small kids, guys. And uh, even afterwards, when we were, we were between uh, 10 and, and 20, even today, there are people play here of up to 30 years. Yeah, because uh, it's a space for 
people love football and some games. So you can see those kids playing. You can see those kids playing right there. Yeah. So this year maybe most people find uh, when they, they, they they've done their their work at home and they are feeling tired or not even tired. They have finished work and they wanna just meet their friends. These are social joint. Should I even call it social joint? This is a place for guys to meet, and so it helps in reducing uh, issues of drunk abuse and uh, uh, and other things, stress and all that. Yeah, because uh, people just come here, or boys would just come here and and play football. You know, of course that reduces uh, those uh, ideas, you know, uh, so it's not possible for boys uh, to think of uh, uh, going to places where maybe their lives will be destroyed. They just come here and, uh, and, and, and just have fun playing football and all that. You know, of course this, there's a club here called, uh, I don't know, Ovayoni, Ovayoni uh, football team. Some, bo some boys who play here. Uh, I've not seen them today. I'll ask them to try to inquire so that I, I get to know when they usually play. I was thinking they are here today, but they are not here playing. Uh, so, yeah, of course. Uh, just trying to check how things are, guys. And so, <coughs> it's a. Uh, does him uh, see if it's going to rain anytime now soon? There's a possibility it may go, it may rain at night now, but for now the sky is not that clear. I won't say that because it's not clear, but uh, it's kind of a little bit warm. It's a little bit warm, guys, now. It's a little bit warm, so yeah. So this is uh, my way home, uh, just next to the village. You know, our road passes through the village to a nearby market called uh, Dungon Market. As you see, in the morning there was kind of problems here. But I'm here because I'm experiencing a serious problem climbing. Yeah, but I think right now if I pass with the motor vehicle, with the car, I'll be able to climb. But there's also another way inside. There are so many ways in our village which I can use even right now if it rains. There's a certain day I came home at uh, uh, in the morning and I wanted to get back to Nairobi uh, at night. So I came at, in the morning, I wanted to do a few things and turn back to Nairobi at night. So I was to turn back to Nairobi at uh, 10 p.m. And then it rained and rained and rained. And so uh, we had not put Maram here. Guys, I can tell you, I spent like three hours here. You know, before I happened to climb up all the way to, to the hill. The clothes I wore that day, I could not wear them another day because whoever was washing the clothes they tried to wash uh, maybe like three times they were also taken to uh, dry cleaners and I just told, just throw the, the clothes away just throw, throw the clothes away because uh, things were, they, they were very dirty I don't know why they, were, they never got clean with all that effort cleaning them in my home cleaning them in uh, you know you understand that so I'm entering the village guys I'm entering the village right now I'm actually entering the village so this is where my village starts and uh, such a big uh, village it's such a big village I don't even can be able to take you around you know such a big village so um, that's how things are here guys let's how, uh, see how the day goes actually right now it's around day five uh, heading to six you know so it's just about to get dark here and so we are very happy guys i'm so happy we are able to uh, get electricity here we had been left behind completely there was no electricity here yeah and so you can see those poles there is electricity here yeah you always find power here it's very reliable by the way here in my village there's always power here unless there's a, a niche somewhere 
or there's so much rain something like that so there's always electricity and so guys as I've, I've told you i'm just from our farm and i happened to uh, to get into the forest and i found some firewood so this firewood guys firewood <laughs> so guys this uh, what we shall get from the forest these are some leaves uh, from the trees in the forest these are for gruveria they are the ones we put in the cow shed to just make it uh, comfortable for the cow you know when it is raining or maybe yeah, something like that as you see much of it there so some of the cow can rest there with no um, much problems and so there's some also a roof here for the cows also to be comfortable when uh, it rains eh? so this this uh, this is uh, the macandamia uh, i was telling you about just near one of the trees here so these are macandamias guys as you can see the macandamia tree here the macandamia tree yeah so this is where the the cows eat from right here they eat from here yeah yeah so uh you've seen for yourselves so this macandamia uh the seed is just inside you know this is macadamia nuts I, i'm forgetting uh, to call them macadamia nuts this is a macadamia nut so inside it uh, there's a seed here this is macadamia nut you can imagine i have so many hairs without eating the macadamia macadamia nuts guys eh? Nuts, guys. Huh? Yeah, I've noticed most of them fall when they are not mature. Yeah, then, but there are some worms. Uh, which kind of eat uh, this? Macadamia nuts. You see, as you can see here, there's a hole. So this one is not a good one, and it fell down on its on its own. But as you look on the macadamia nut. It's looking perfect. It's actually looking perfect, but inside it, it's not good. It must be having some those worms. I don't know if they get into the macadamia. I don't know if they go. They get inside when it's still not mature or something. Because this one is hard. This one is very hard. I can only break this with a stone using blunt force. Yeah using blunt force guys eh? yes and so guys uh, i'm actually headed to the market i just go got home with the firewood i had and uh, my mom sent me to the market so i'm actually supposed to go to the market and uh, get charcoal yeah that's how things are serious here in the village guys you know you don't come here in the village you know and pretend as if you are in the city so i came here and my mom told me you know go for charcoal in the market <laughs> so guys i'll be showing you uh, maybe i may also I, I may show you buying charcoal but for now uh after some two niggas here some two friends eh? they are friends actually and they are relatives at the same time so I have, uh, I have, I have uh, this guy here. Let me show you. Let me show you guys. You know. So I have this guy here with the leather jacket. You know, he's looking like a cop. Yeah. I want him uh, to introduce himself so that you get to know him. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Say hi to people here, man. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so he's called Jefferson. He's called Jefferson. He's my friend and uh, is should i say my peer my age mate so we've grown together we've been in school together and all that and so i also have uh, my brother here yes as you can see here yeah the reflector jacket <laughs> yeah he's a motorbike rider are they called mo motorbike raiders or something so guys uh, um i'm actually it's getting dark right now 
it's really getting dark as you can see uh, i think it's around what time is it let's see let's see what time it is guys 18 this is 6 six forty seven. guys this is 6 forty seven. <laughs> our nearby market is actually in a distance of uh, like uh, it's a walking distance of course uh should i say one kilometer or some 800 meters yes so this part of my village i've not shown you much but uh guys as time goes on i'll be introducing you to so much uh about my village here okay so for now we're headed to the market just uh having a chit chat you know just talking and uh, just updating myself with uh, uh, what is happening or what has been happening with, uh, in my village so these are my two guys here yeah yeah so thank you guys if you are new here my name is felix254 kindly please please consider subscribing support me um we are on road to 20,000 subscribers and of course uh, I'm so grateful if you are a returning subscriber. Thank you for coming back to support me. I'm so very much uh, grateful. You know, so feel at home, guys. If you're here, continue subscribing. If you have not subscribed, please don't skip the ads. Watch all my videos. Uh, may God bless you. There are so many videos which I've uploaded for you guys. You can just go and view uh, those videos. Yeah. Let's go to those videos. I just need want to see show you the moon right there. Yeah. So that's the moon. So of course, as you see the moon, then that tells you it's getting dark here. So let's go to the market together. Mm -hmm. So by the way, guys, it's actually it's actually getting dark so fast. I may not be able to uh, film this video. Uh, so uh, i'm actually edit the market and of course i'm walking should i say trekking so i'm walking guys to the market center and i've used uh, a shortcut these are some of the small roads here the ones we used to we use when we were small or the ones sometimes we use them uh, we use some time when you are in the village when you don't want to walk uh, through the main road and so yeah this is the way to the market and so because it's getting dark so fast guys i think i'm going to leave this video here uh, uh, because of time as you can see i think i don't i won't be able to add light to this video so that you just uh, see that uh, uh, it, it was getting dark of course so it's almost uh, 7 pm and so yeah sometime we walk uh, at night here because we are used to this life man this life in the village and so it's always not hard to walk even uh, when it's the dark so we are used to this life we had just got electricity just the other day guys eh? and so um, <laughs> we are still the same people nothing much has changed yeah so yeah you see, this is my path man to the, to the market yeah you can't even see properly yeah so uh you're gonna forgive you please need to forgive me uh, for now uh, but uh, the next video you're gonna enjoy much so i'm gonna leave it right here please uh, subscribe you can comment uh, like share and uh, uh, god will uh, uh, bless you so for those who are new here my name is felix254 please don't watch and just leave subscribe you can put the notification bell on so that whenever i post a video here uh, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to uh, to see the notification and uh, as you see that's the market center where you see that light that's where we are headed to that is where we are going that's where we are going just situated within the village it's not far from the village guys eh? it's not far from the village mm -hmm. and this is bruce lee i call him bruce lee yeah i call him bruce lee uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, we used to call him uh, lee and so i came up with bruce lee of course guys you know bruce lee 
yeah yeah so uh, we are headed to the market and uh, he just told me he want to say hi to you and of course he said hi guys uh, so you will be seeing him you know every other day yeah on this channel mm. so he's actually the one carrying the sack i'm actually the one who's supposed to carry it but he carried it <laughs> yeah so we are going to collect charcoal on them actually to buy charcoal on the, on the market center you know so as i told you guys i was in the forest i happened to collect some firewood but currently it's forbidden to go to the forest and cut the trees maybe for firewood and so people are gotten used to buying charcoal in the market center so for now guys i know you can't even see me properly right now i won't even put more light in the video so that you understand it's dark <laughs> so bye uh, for now guys i'll see you in the next video and god bless you cheers guys eh?